Hi everyone, I'm Amy from Amy Speech Fitness. Today's workout is going to be with using a Pilates ring or a ball. This ball is a little bit bigger and it's pretty squishy and what this workout will be really good for is sculpting, toning, balance. It's gonna be a full body workout. Remember also to stretch out a little bit before and after all of my videos. So here we go. All right. Also that ball, you can get it at the local drugstore. I got mine, I think it, I don't even remember where, but it was like $2. Pilates ring, this cost $25 on Amazon. It's a great thing to have. You can travel with it, it put, bring it wherever you go. Okay, here we go. So you're gonna start with having the ring facing out. I'm gonna turn so you at home can see, and you're not just looking this way, it's not being able to see my face. You're gonna get in your tuck. Remember, tuck is heavy tailbone. Most of these exercises that we're going to be doing will be isometric, which means little. So slight bend in both elbows, stay in your tuck, shoulders back, chest up. We're gonna squeeze the ring for 20. Pausing on the squeeze in, there's one. Neutral neck, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm feeling this in my core, even though I'm standing straight up. There's 10. One, really engage in your core. Two, three, four, five, six. Doing my best to not drop my elbow. Seven, eight, nine, and 20. Now the ring is facing the ground on here. I'm going to get back in my tuck. My toes are actually going to be angled out. Doing a little isometric pulse down, squeezing the ring on the down of the move for 20. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, very slow and controlled. Nine, 10, one, two, three, four. So if you had the ball, you would be squeezing the ball with your palms. There's eight, nine, and this is 20, and 20. Heel toe, heel toe, your feet together. You're gonna take the ring and put it on the <clears throat> outer side of the upper hip. You're taking your right hand, your palm is facing your, the outside of your right quad, your left arm is out, and you're squeezing the ring towards you for 20. So it's one, two, three. Front of the shoulder, tricep, bicep. There's 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, core is engaged, seven, eight, nine, 20. Keep the ring on the right side of your body. Now your right hand is gonna be holding it here. Left arm is out, squeezing. This is hitting you more the front of the shoulder, side of the shoulder, back of the shoulder, forearm for 21, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, switch arms. Okay, here we go for 20. One, two, three, left palm is facing the outer side of my left quad, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, Still as a statue, except the arm moving. Eight, nine, and 20. Right, left hand on top of, or on the pad of the ring. 20 squeezes, one, two, core is engaged. You 
also really feel it in your core. Five, six, don't let your chest drop. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Ring is going to go behind your back. So you're going to focus on triceps. So when you squeeze it, it's going to be very difficult to squeeze. If you have the ball, you're going to be holding the ball and squeezing inward with your palms. Your toes are going to be angled out. You're actually going to stay somewhat low. You're not going to be pulsing up with your lower body, but your shoulders are back, chest is up. Stay low, stay in your top 20 squeezes. One, two, engage in the core, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Ring is going to be facing up to your ceiling. On this one, you're gonna do slow knees up, alternating your knees. As when your knee comes up, you're gonna squeeze the ring in. So here we go for 20. So it's one, two, balance here, three, four, Five, neutral neck, breathe into it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, and as you can see with this workout, three, there's no impact at all. I mean, a little bit on the down of the foot, but for any of you who do not like high intensity training, this is the workout for you. Three more. One, two, three. Ring, inner thigh. I always say to people, you got to find the comfy spot on your inner lower thighs on this because it can dig into your skin. So your toes are angled out just a little bit, not much. Hands on your waist. From here, you're going to just pulse the ring. Hold just oh so slightly for like a count when you squeeze the ring and we're going to go for 20. So it's one, isometric, stay in your tuck. Two three, engage in that core, four, five, six, great sculpting work, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. You're gonna bring up the ring about an inch, so it's a little bit higher. From here, we're gonna pulse pretty quickly for 50. I'm gonna count out every 10. So when I get to 10, it'll be 10, then 20. So here we go, stay in your tuck, ready, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, hold it for 10 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Whew, lunge. So we're going to go in right foot forward lunge, left foot back. 
actually going to turn to over towards the bent knee, which is right. So you're gonna be here and when you turn, you're gonna come down, squeeze the ring, and then follow through to back to center. So this is a lot of balance. Follow the ring. This is three. We're gonna do 15. Four. Five. Core is tight. Six. So if you had the ball, you would just do the same with the ball. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, come on, five more, one, two, Ooh. feel the burn in the legs, three, four, 15, switch sides, shake out those legs, Ooh. left foot forward, right foot back, same thing, four, 15. Ready and go. One, hello world. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, core is tight. Really feel this in my obliques. 10, five more. One, two, three, four, 15. High knees to shake out the lactic acid. Whoo, yikes. Okay, another balance move. You're gonna start on uh, left foot here. Left foot forward, right foot back. Ring is going to be facing the floor. You're going to have a core is tight, squeezing the ring, a little pause, and then coming up. You're gonna keep the ring squeezed the entire time for 10. So that was one. Constant tension on the ring. Two. Big toe is hitting the mat. Three. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that ring. Four. Five. Supporting leg hamstring, right glute, six, feeling the burn, upper body, feeling the burn, seven, eight, nine, and 10, switch legs, Ooh. shake out the arms, do forward arm circles, a little bit back. Find a focal point on the mat floor wherever you're working, it really helps. And the slower you go, the better it will, the easier it'll be for as far as to not fall over. So constant tension on the ring for 10. You can already say this side's gonna be easier. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 
Last one. We're going to go to the mat after this on our bums. This is 10. Nice work. Shake out those legs. Forward arm circles, backward arm circles. Sit on your bum. You're going to put the ring in between your inner thighs. From here, we're going to put our hands, both of our hands behind our head, keeping the shoulder blades off of the mat as we pulse the ring. So we're not going to crunch. We're just going to have constant tension on the ring, squeezing the ring, shoulder blades off of the mat. I'm going to count for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Now we're going to crunch. So when we crunch up, you're going to squeeze the ring for a two second hold for 20. So it's one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. If you have, if you're using a ball, Remember, you can put the ball in between your inner thighs and do this. Seven, seven. Eight, eight. Nine, nine. Ten, ten. Halfway. One, one. Two, two. Three, three. Four, Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. You're going to put your head on the mat. Ring is going to be in your left hand. Right leg is out long. Left, instep of your left foot. We're going to put our right hand on the mat. And we're going to go, you guys, we're all going to go out six inches and then we're coming back. Keeping our bum flush to the mat, back flush to the mat. We're stretching out the back of our legs. My left knee is slightly bent. Do not lock that knee. From here, eight more. Great stretch in the back of the legs. One, core is engaged. Two, three, great stretch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, switch sides. Left leg out long. Left hand down on the mat, same thing for 10. Six inches out, one. Slight bend in the right knee, two, three. Yes, and obviously the ball, you, using the ball on this is not gonna work. Towel, tie, um, maybe a rope, something that is long where you can put on the bottom of your instep. Okay, three more, one, enjoy the stretch, two, three, last one, and four. Whew. Okay, legs are straddled, your, both of your feet are in point. The ring is facing straight up to the ceiling. Do your best to keep your legs on the mat. We're going to do roll up. So as I roll up, I'm going to Squeeze the ring. So I'm going to show you one first. So it's here, chin to chest. If you have, if your heels pop up a little, it's okay. You can ease into this. It's a lot of core work, a lot of core strength. Slow on the down, slow on the up. We're going to do six ups. That was one. Actually, we'll start over because that was an example. Okay, here's one. Chin to chest, core is tight. <sighs> Keep your feet in point, slow on the down. <sighs> a 
This is two. Really engage your midsection. This is three. Lengthening your muscles, engaging your muscle. This is four. Upper body is feeling the burn. Two more. Keep pulse in the ring. One more. Last one up. And last one down. Beautiful. Now you're going to put your feet and legs on the inner circle. Feet are going to go back on the mat. So on this one, instead of pulsing it, you're going to go out with your ring. So as far as if you don't have a Pilates ring and you're using a ball, this one, you can, obviously the ball is not going to work because it's going to fall out. So what you can do is just do it with no ring, no ball, and you're just going to, this is what we're going to do. So left, right, right hand behind the head. I'm going to squeeze the ring out, and then you're going to isolate right elbow towards your left knee. I'm, I'm squeezing the ring out, but guess what? You can still do this. You just won't get the effects on the outer hips if you don't have the um, ring, and it's okay. You can still at least do the move. Okay, here we go for 20. One, two, pulling the ring out on the lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, really gets the IT band. Two, three, feet stay flat. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, feel it all over here, nine, 10, stay with me, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Head on the mat. We're going to put the ring on our le left instep. We're going to actually stretch, do a really nice stretch, opening up our left hip, keeping our both of our shoulder blades onto the mat. You're going to hold this for 20 seconds. Both feet are in point, so it's one. Core is tight. Really great stretch in the core. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Switch sides. Ooh, really, really great stretch. Left hand is going to be flat on the mat. Same thing. Open up your right hip. Twenty second hold. Both feet are on point. One. Two shoulder blades are both on the mat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Great, great stretch. You're going to sit on your bum. You can definitely do this with the ball. So we're going to do a V-sit. So if you're working with the ball, stick it on the inner part of your um, thighs. I'm going to show you. So it's here. We're going to get into a V-sit. But since I have a ring, I'm going to use my ring. Okay, find the sweet spot. Like I said, sometimes it is, digs into the inner legs and it just hurts. So a lot of focus on balance here. Chin to chest, but not really chin to chest. You're going to have like an inch between your chin and your chest, okay? So your chin is going towards your chest, but it's not that, that deep. Palms are going to be up. Shift the weight back. Just like this, we're going to pulse 
the ring for 20. So it's one, two, three, both your feet are on point four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Slowly bring your feet down. Now we're gonna put it on the inner part of our ankles. This is um, a little bit more advanced, but remember we can do hard workouts or at least we can try hard workouts. Palms are still gonna be up. You're gonna go back into your V-sit. Focal point, core tight, chin to chest a little bit. Here we go for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Nice work, everyone. Feet out long. Both feet are gonna be in point. Ring is going to be looking like this. Twisting over to the left side, isometrically. Flat back, core tight. Do your best to have your feet in point and your legs onto the mat. We're gonna go over to the left for 20. Every time I isometrically move this way, I'm pulsing the ring. Please follow my count. Okay, ready, go. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, flat spine, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Great stretch in the hips and in the um, obliques, Indian style. So here we're gonna have the ring parallel to the ceiling for 20 squeezes, then we're gonna go out for 20, then down for 20, and then guess what? We're finished. So here we go, flat back, work on your posture here. Core is engaged, ready, go. One, two, three, heavy legs, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, out for 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Down. One. Get it in the chest here. Front of the shoulder. Biceps, triceps, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Straddle legs. We're gonna work on a little bit of flexibility here. Okay, in point. This one, we're going to stay leaned over, stretching the outer side of your right waist, for 20 pulses, looking down, here we go, and go trying to your best to really, as you're, as you're pulsing the ring, to get deeper in your stretch. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20, slowly come up, other side. You will notice right away what side is tighter. Ready, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Slowly come up. Great work, everyone. So I don't want, I, I really hope that if you at home don't have a Pilates ring, that you are open-minded to using a ball. You can still get the same resistance work, sculpting work, it's a great workout. And no, guess what, no jumping around. And actually my heart rate got up 
on the, especially on the balance stuff because of the focus. Remember to stretch a little bit before and after all of my videos. Remember that also the light starts within and have a wonderful self-care day. See you next time. Bye-bye.